Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. And to Lewis, sailor, we see Morro Castle, the famous fort guarding the entrance to Havana Harbor. It was constructed in 1589, contains many interesting and exciting relics of the past. Oh, shut up. What's the matter with you? I take you for a moonlight ride aboard the Vol Venture, point out the places of scenic interest, give you choice bits of information, develops the mine. Where else could you get all this gratis? All this gratis I could get by curling up in my downy bed with a circular. <laughs> all right, sailor. What do you expect from a man who takes you for a boat ride around the harbor? Expect him to anchor and... Hey, hey, look at that maniac. He's trying to run us down. It's not a he or she, just standing at the wheel, headed for us. That crazy fool, doesn't she know that he... She slammed her boat into the seawall. Let's go. Folded it up like an accordion. That girl must be... I'm going in after her. You got her, Slade? Yeah. Uh, I'll hand her up to you. Just hold her arms till I get aboard. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll take her. Huh. Such a beautiful girl. Don't stand there admiring her. She's nearly drowned. Worse than that. Drowned? Look, this mark on the front of her head, probably from the crash, my guess is that's what did it. She is beautiful. To have died like that. To have killed herself like that. For what reason, sailor? Here, take my hand, athlete. Don't need it, Jail. Been climbing aboard her after the moonlight ever since I can remember. Hey, hand me a towel, punk, and the water was cold. Mm, here. Thanks. They smiled on you tonight, Richard. Your stars smiled on you. People were there to watch how your girl died. Oh, I'm just lucky, Pumpkin. Always have been. Who watched? I saw it through the night glasses. A couple aboard a boat called the Bold Venture. I think they tried to help her. Goody. Tell me how it was, Richard. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you killed your beloved, my sister. <laughs> she thought I was going to kiss her. She closed her eyes, and then all of a sudden she opened them and saw the gun against her, and she passed out. Well, then What? I propped her against the wheel, headed her boat for the seawall, opened the throttle, and dove overboard. But why do I tell you that part? You saw it. You watched me swimming in the moonlight. Oh, you fool. You've ruined it. It had to look like murder. It had to. We planned it that way. She's dead, Pumpkin. Why should I have stretched a muscle I can use another but time? don't you see, you fool? They'll call it suicide. They'll find out how she tried to kill herself before. They won't call it an accident. They'll call it suicide. And the insurance boys won't pay off on suicide. Yeah, I never thought of that. <laughs> now, easy, easy, Pumpkin. Young Richard will think of a way. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Shannon's place. The Hotel Nifty, rooms 350. Are you alone? Uh, I don't want a room. I want to find out about a guest. Just a minute. Front boy. 
Good morning, sir. Welcome to Shannon's place. The Hotel Nifty, rooms 350. In advance, sailor, the guy's got no baggage. The guy wants information about a guest, don't you, guy? Yes, yes, I do. My name's Richard Marlin. I'm trying to find out about a Phyllis Calvert. Phyllis Calvert, huh? Yeah. About her, I'll give you all the information I've got, Richard. I never heard of her. Now, look, uh, whatever your name is, I've been making the rounds of the Havana Hotels. All the information I've gotten about Phyllis Calvert is that she's not registered. What makes her so important to find? My fiancé. Well, they'll do it to you every time, kid. Cut it out, Slate. Just because you never had a fiancé. Who needs one? I should never have let her come here alone. Mixed-up girl like Phyllis. If anything's happened... Look... Look, do me a favor, will you? Sure. I'd be glad to help. Here, uh, here's a picture. If she comes in here, well, uh, I'll leave you my address. And if she comes in here, then you can... Hey, look at this, sailor. You tell him, Slate. We've seen this girl. It's not a very good picture, Slate. Richard, we're, we're not really sure. What's the matter? Why are you looking like that? Like sailor said, we're... Really not sure. But we can find out. Well, then let's do it. Where? I'm sorry, Richard. I really am. We'll have to go to the morgue. Make a note, Slate. Why? You forget something? Just make a note reminding us never to go calling in this place again. It's... Yeah. I can't tell you how grateful I am you two came with me. If it's Phyllis that's dead, I want someone with me when it hits. With others I have seen, it has been that they wish to be with their dead in loneliness. But it is not always as we... You are prepared, Senor Marlon? Yeah. Show her to me, Inspector. I promise I won't scream and wake her. Wake any of them. Senor Marlon? It's Phyllis. Cover up her face again. It's not this way I remember her. We'll play like I never saw her this way. We're sorry, Mr. Marlon. Why? What makes you sorry? Was it you that killed her? Is that how killers feel about a girl they let die? No one killed her, Senor Marlon. It is our opinion it was suicide. You're crazy. You've seen so many dead, you want to make it easy on yourself. Suicide. <laughs> From what you have already told us of the senorita, that she tried to die twice before. Our technical experts think so. I think so. She was murdered. I told you Your she Your grief was... has made you hysterical, Senor. <laughs> I respect it. I leave you alone with it. When you are more calm, come to me, and I will share it with you. You saw her, Shannon. You saw that bruise on her head. Someone killed her. Could have been from the crash. Maybe she lost control and... Phyllis lose control of a boat. She's been handling boats since she was a baby. And what LaSalle said has to be true, Richard. She wanted... She was murdered. Look, all I ask of you is that you prove it. How can she rest if they think she took her own life? How? And me? How do I sleep? All right, kid, we'll try. How much? A thousand? Two? For nothing, Richard. Isn't that how it should be? So you can sleep. Let's go, sailor. <laughs> You heard me, mister. Calvert. C-A-L-V-E-R-T. Phyllis Calvert. I don't know whether I'm at liberty to give out the information. We here at the Caribbean Cruise Line pride ourselves on the discretion with which we treat our passenger lists. Open that book and look it up. Everything you can tell me about it. Open the book. What else? Phyllis Calvert. Calvert. Cal... Yes, yes. Here we are. Phyllis Calvert. Disembarked a week ago today. And what? And from the steward's notation, we learned that her baggage was sent to the Hotel Mozambique. Is that what you wanted to know?
I don't know what you're talking about, senor. To my knowledge, no man was in here asking about Phyllis Calvert. Well, maybe you weren't here at the desk then. Mm, es posible. Phyllis Calvert. Ay, mucho muchacha. She's dead. I grieve. Permit me. Did you see her go out with anyone? Do you know anything about her? Last night she called the desk from her room. Please do reserve her a boat. I took care of this reserving myself. Where'd she hire the boat? From Segura. His little dock near La Fuerza. You say dead, senor. Ay, que triste. Es muy triste. <laughs> No, senor. Segura is not here. Segura put on happy clothes with shoes. Where'd he go? To Calle Jota, to Fiesta. The street dance? Si, and Calle Jota, to dance, to sing, to have fun, to love, to get beat overhead by jealous boyfriend. Ah, tonight Segura will live. <laughs> Sailor, go ask him for a dance. How do you know it's Segura? I asked the girls to point him out to me. They hid their giggles behind a fish he'd given each of them. That's how I know. Go on, you get a samba and a free fish besides. Why don't you go dance with him yourself? <laughs> it's a question. I'm not dressed for it. Well, keep your mouth open, kid. I may toss you a herring. Hi, Segura. Care to cut a cobblestone with a girl? <laughs> you must understand, senorita. I am all out of fish. Oh, who needs it on a night like this? You want to dance with me for myself alone? Oh, you are brave. I've been dreaming about it. You're a flash with the girls, huh, Segura? Mm, they call me El Swifty. Is that what Phyllis Calvert called you? Phyllis? Oh, Phyllis. The one with open toes in her shoes. One of your admirers, huh? No, no, I only noticed the open toes when she come to rent boat from me. A man in my profession sees such things. <laughs> they were painted, the toes. And they twinkled in the moonlight on the boat ride. I bet. I wish I could have been there for the twinkle. Oh, she went out on the boat alone? Uh, you didn't go with her? Who cares? While we dance, they are turning out the lanterns. The music changes to tango. The street is dark. And in all Havana, there is only me for you. Hey, you're a regular Valentina. It has been mentioned. Better try another line on me, senorita. That one is tired. Try this one. Who was Phyllis with on the boat? Again, Phyllis, again. I, in my back, the pain. I... Slate, Slate, come here. Yeah, what's wrong, sailor? What's the matter? Hey, what's this, a new kind of dance? Your partner lies on the floor and you... Because he's dead, Slate. Because a knife in his back made him that way. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. A lovely girl, she crashed into old sea wall. Now lie with the dead in a cold, cold hall. Police, he says she's suicide, but her lover, this notion cannot abide. To help the lover, lady sailor, she dance in street with a man, a very warm glance. He hold her close and around her spin. When death tapped his shoulder on dance, cut in. Don't remind me of it, King. If I hadn't danced with him, it wouldn't have happened. But you gave him a memory to take with him, Lady Sailor, your face. There are harder ways for a man to die, Sailor. I could envy Segura for that. What are you doing to me, Slate? 
You want me to cry all over again? Give it up, Slate. Let the man find his own reasons why his girl died. Yeah, don't you see, sailor? That fisherman's being killed like that proves the girl was murdered. Killer didn't want him to tell you anything, so he stuck a knife in him. The Sal says it had nothing to do with her dying. This was once a girl bought for himself because he was so popular with other men's girls. Well, what does LaSalle know? The difference between suicide and murder. He gets paid for a quirk like that. That makes me a sucker, huh? You named it. Look, sailor, a girl dies. I lift her body out of the sea with my own hands. I can still feel it. That gives me whatever rights I want to take to myself. It, it makes it... Answer the phone. Yeah. Slate Shannon. Oh. Oh, yeah, Richard. Sure I can. Be there right away. Let's see. You were saying if I want to find out... Now, don't out... bother to cue me, sailor. Richard's found the murderer. Sucker, huh? I don't get it, Eileen. Why tell Shannon I've got something I haven't got? But you will have. And soon. Rest your muscles, Dickie boy. <laughs> oh, the life I've lived. Phyllis, Segura, Shannon's girl. You deprived me of that one. If she ever comes that close again, I'll give her to you. To kill. Shannon, too, if you want him. Come in. Pretty day to you, senora. I have brought the club sandwich you honored us with your order. Put it over there, Pepe. Let me see. Now sit down. Oh, it's quite all right. Mr. Marlin here will protect you. If I were not so modest myself, senora, uh, I could wish the mister were not here. See, I sit. Whatever the senora wishes... You're quite a lad with the girls, aren't you, Peppy? I am only a beginner. But so proficient, I hear. Oh, I've heard lots about you. From the elevator girls, the waitresses, from my sister. Your sister, senora? Phyllis Calvert. She had the same room in the same hotel. Surely you remember. She remembered you. I am grateful that such a girl remembered me. You killed her, didn't you, Peppy? <laughs> Please, senora, you just said something crazy. Did you not hear it? You killed her. Phyllis made dates with you, a handsome boy like you, and for that you killed her. You are crazy. They fill this hotel with crazy people. You are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's his address, Dickie boy. When Shannon knocks on your door, be nice. Give him a murderer. <laughs> Mr. Shannon, Miss Duval, I don't know how to thank you. Take it easy, kid. Oh, please, please come in. And now it's all over. You've got to understand about a man like me. Someone I loved, murdered. An eye for an eye. You'll see, you'll know. If someone did to you what's happened to me... You... We're not going to be able to help you unless we know what you're talking about. We came here because you said you knew who murdered her. He hit her. And he propped her against the wheel, headed her boat against the seawall. All right, I'll buy all that. Now, who did it? A bellhop. His name is Peppy. If Phyllis was going to marry our friend here, what was she doing in a boat with a bellhop named Peppy? That's a good womanly question. Answer it, Richard. Well, Phyllis was... Well, people smiled at her. She liked people. Men? She was fond of people. She didn't know what she was doing. She needed me near her. You didn't know, Phyllis. Okay, kid. <laughs> Let's go down and interview a killer. Happy little fish on the end of my line. You wiggle a lot, can we see? Your name Peppy? Oh, I, I did not see you approach, senor. Is your name Peppy? Yes, I am Peppy. They told me at your rooming house you were down here on the beach. Come here often? You went upset, I am. Okay, Richard, come here. What, what, what is it you want, senor? Why do you call? You'll see. Is this the one, Richard? That's him. You, 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 
You will, you will not... Don't try to run, Pappy. Did this woman, this Phyllis, a bad thing? You she... were with her on the boat. Take your hands away from me. Pepe does not permit. You see why Pepe does not permit? Ah, for a downy cheek lad, Pepe, you sure flash a big knife. <clears throat> she would bring things to me and meet me. See, I was with her. And why not? If Pepe... Stare, Mr. Shannon. Because I killed a man. Because I avenged a death. And you'll never know what a pleasure it was. And that's the way it was, Inspector. Pappy pulled a knife. That's why we came here to tell you about it. I don't care what you do with me. I want you to know that. Phyllis is dead now. Nobody's going to do anything to you. It was self-defense. There will be an inquiry. But with Mr. Shannon to give you a vouch, you will get off. You can go then, Inspector? See, si, if you will... Yeah, give... I'll give him a vouch. Let's get out of here, kid. Come on, sailor. Feeling pretty rocky, Richard? I, uh... I want to tell both of you something. I offered you some money earlier. A thousand dollars to help me. Two thousand dollars. Slade, what's the matter with you? Since when does anybody have to pay for your help? He said two thousand dollars, didn't he? I did. In a few hours, Mr. Shannon, my rooms. I like a boy who pays his way, Richard. We'll be there. Hi, Richard. Hi, Shannon. Come for your dough? It's inside. Come get it. Thanks. I want you to meet somebody, Shannon. What do you think I've been staring at? People. This is Eileen Calvert, sister of Phyllis, Slate Shannon. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, people. Yoo-hoo. Oh, sailor, this is, uh, uh, what's your name again, lady? Eileen. Likewise, I'm sure. Where's the money? Two thousand, wasn't it? No, I changed my mind. Better make it five. Slate's always doing that, Eileen. You say two, he raises you to five. Now, come, Shannon. First it was for nothing, then for two Gs, now it's five. All that money makes blind spots. I could forget how three people died. You're trying to say something, Mr. Shannon. How much insurance money did your sister leave you, Eileen? Oh, you're not going to tell me. Must have been a nifty bundle. <laughs> Nifty is not quite the word. Try gorgeous. All right, I'll try it. Gorgeous. That still smells. We're trying for ten, Shannon? Slate's trying to tell you that he thinks... No that... help from the audience, sailor. You killed Phyllis for her insurance money. It was supposed to look like an accident, a murder. But you loused it up and the cops called it suicide. Yes, that's right. With my sister's background, it looked just like suicide. The insurance people wouldn't pay off on that. You just made yourself ten grand, Shannon. Fifteen. You're going good, kid. Don't stop now. Worth fifteen thousand? It's worth it. Give it to him, Richard. Where is it? Top desk drawer. Did you find it? I found it. All right, Shannon, this gun says we bargain. Don't try anything. I said don't try. It's late. Don't be a fool. Now you shot her. You shot Sailor. You didn't make it, did you, kid? Let go of that gun, Eileen. Drop it. No! I'll take it. Sailor. Hmm? What? Does it hurt? What? What took you so long getting here? I see. That doesn't look too bad. You'll be all right. I tried to help. Now, 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 don't talk. Just don't talk. It'll be all right. I'll take you home.
construction of the Cabana Fortress was commenced in 1763 and finished in 1774 at a cost of $14 million. Although considered impregnable at that time, at present it is only of historic value. Now, isn't that interesting and educational, sailor? Look, Slate, I'm sitting here on a deck chair on our boat. My arm's in a sling. I'm defenseless. And you give me history. It's a tonic, sailor. Takes your mind off your troubles. You want to take me off my mind? I got a better way. The doctor said I should keep you calm. That quack. Come here, Slate. That's what I mean. That was restful. Restful? Yeah. The construction of the Cabana Fortress was commenced in 1763 and finished in 1774. See how easy it is to educate me? If you weren't so helpless... Isn't it wonderful? Just watch the sling, Slate. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.